Welcome to your market update and charts of the days. Tuesday, the 12th of March 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, US equities continued to look soft last night. It was a fairly choppy session, but of course, we have got this evening's important US CPI data, which may well dictate market sentiment for the coming few weeks, as it obviously has a major implication on what the Fed may do next and, more importantly, when they may do it. US futures are mildly higher in early trading today. Asian markets are mixed. They kind of looked a bit weak earlier on. ASX is trading up around about a quarter percent after yesterday's sell-off. European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. We expect caution to be the order of the day until that CPI number comes out later. US dollar index weakness continues, though we did see a small gain yesterday. Still pretty close to year-to-date lows. Gold closed at record highs again and heading towards 2200. Copper breached the important 392, with 395 the next potential resistance of both copper and gold, as well as other metals did very well yesterday. Oil didn't move much, trading neutral around the 200 MA. Bitcoin was the other outperformer, smashing 70,000, hit a new record high, just trading below 73,000 at this stage. And of course, as well as the U US CPI, uh, we have a German CPI and UK jobs later. The only significant data point out so far today is Japanese CPI, which is slightly warmer than expected. Well, the charts that caught our eye today. This, I think, is going to be a picture that we see quite a lot today. We've got short term ranges on all of the major FX pairs. But it does give us some absolutely clear lines in the sand for potential action. If we look at the USD yen here on the hourly chart, you can see this support here at 146.58, the resistance at around about 147.21. We do look as though we could be heading up to that during this session. And maybe come this afternoon, we may get a breach of that with a possible move up to around about 147. 75 so 55 pip gain potentially we can't see it moving much above that until that cpi number comes out later but it could be worth a short-term trade in this uh we referenced awc yesterday we had a very significant move higher uh, to put us up to this key 125 area we've absolutely smashed through that in trading today up another eight percent if we look on the weekly chart for context of this you can see how this is very bullish of course v-shaped pattern on the weekly chart a potential move up in the first instance we would suggest to around about this 138 level that would be a gain from current price of around about eight and a half percent but certainly the buyers appear to be in metal stocks and AWC is probably the best example of that today. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.